Hello again, I'm Dr. Sean Allen. I'm with uh, several groups here, the Homunculus Group, H-O-M-U-N-C-U-L-U-S group.com, wannagetfast.com, W-A-N-N-A-G-E-T-F-A-S-T.com, and thegateguys.com. You can see um, uh, these web addresses at the beginning of this video here. Um, so we work with uh, the, the uh, Want to Get Fast group, Chris Corfist and Dan Fichter for Slow Guide Speed School and wannagetfast.com. And we also work with Ivo Werlop out in uh, uh, Summit County, uh, Colorado. He's one of the consultants with the Homunculus Group and we work as a team with athletes, coaches, trainers, patients, etc. Trying to help you guys get better at the foot and ankle and the lower extremity and gait uh, to run faster, to have better mechanics, fewer injuries. Today we're going to talk about the uh, some specifics on the foot. Um, you can go onto YouTube and see some of our other um, videos under uh, the gate guys and um, you'll see some of the videos. Uh, we will go over some basic concepts here today, maybe an exercise or two. You can go to our uh, these websites and get uh, some of our DVD programs and the DVDs will go through some specific training. They'll have a lot of this information uh, uh, repeated on there so that you can get a full lecture you can also take some of our courses online for uh, continuing education credit for physicians and therapists. So today we're going to talk about the uh, <clears throat> how to anchor the tripod of the foot a little bit more. And this is just one way to do it, but this is a concept that seems to be pretty important. We talked about the foot being a tripod. You've got your heel, your fifth metatarsal, and your first metatarsal head. These three, one on a longitudinal arch, the other on a transverse arch, <clears throat> Those three points act like a tripod. A tripod is stable when all three are attached to the ground. If you were to treat this foot as a tripod, and we will make, um, we'll say this is the heel, this is the fifth metatarsal, and this is the first metatarsal, just like this right here. If this first metatarsal head is not properly anchored to hold the arch up, what will happen is as you step on this, this foot will splay forward. Okay, so here's our tripod. If this represents the first metatarsal head and you put weight down through this tripod and that first metatarsal is not anchored into the ground, you'll get a splay here. And that splay is a dropping of this arch. So one of the keys that we're going to talk about today is how do you anchor that tripod down better? It's very easy to put your foot down. But um, <clears throat> To get that first metatarsal anchored properly, you have to have some function of some of these muscles. And there are several groups. Today we're just going to talk about some extensor groups off of the hallux or the first toe. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what you want to be able to do with your athlete is we've talked about some concepts. You want to be able to get at least 90 plus a few more degrees. So we talk about 100 to 110 degrees of dorsiflexion or ankle rocker across the, the, uh, tibia, uh, the mortis joint. Okay, the tibial tailor joint. If you cannot get that range, and let's say you get to 90 and you continue to progr progress forward, <clears throat> but this is locked, you can still move forward, but you will drop the arch. What you want is you want to be able to hold that arch up and move across the foot without dropping that arch. How do you do that? goes back to anchoring this medial tripod. So one of the problems that we see is that <clears throat> the brain, if not trained properly, the gait pattern, we're not sure if this is from a uh, early developmental problem where someone may have walked too early or they may have walked too late and there may have be some developmental delays. They tend, to, a lot of our patients and a lot of the athletes we see tend to get into a pattern where the, when the toes go down, the arch drops with it. So we see this pattern. As the toe goes down, the arch drops with it. And so we see toe down, arch down toe down, arch down. This is not an acceptable pattern. You need to establish arch rigidity <coughs> or at least position. Now, uh, rigidity isn't exactly the right word. We want some pronation to occur. We don't want excessive pronation to occur. Now, you're not seeing a lot on me because I've got a fairly uh, cavus foot, but <coughs> you're getting the idea of that's a good arch and that is less good, okay? <coughs> some people will flatten this out all the way and get a weight-bearing navicular where this drops all the way and you get a lot of medial soft tissue bulging here. <clears throat> so back to the concept, how do I anchor this